So in this case, our new lesson, the factoring by grouping. So paano natin siya sinosolve itong factoring by grouping? Paano natin kinukuha yung factors ng ating expression? So from the word itself, groupings. So igugroup muna natin siya. Solve na tayo. Number one. A cubed plus A squared plus 2A plus 2. Uh, Iregroup muna natin. So by 2 tayo, igroup natin si A cubed plus A squared plus igroup din naman natin si 2A plus 2. Ayan. Then, kunin natin yung GCF nila or the greatest common factor. Sa number, uh, sa first group natin, ang GCF natin dyan, since variable yan, yung may lowest na exponent. Dito, A squared. Then we have A cubed divided by A squared. A na lang. Then, a squared divided by A squared plus 1. Ayan. So, pwede natin i-check. Multiply lang natin. A squared times A, A cubed. A squared times 1, A squared. Plus, kopihin lang natin yung sign. GCF ni 2A plus 2. So, 2. Then, 2A divided by 2, that is A, plus, 2 divided by 2, that is 1. Then, kukunin natin ngayon yung common factor. Ang common factor natin ay A plus 1. Then, yung isa, kukunin naman natin yung na, mga uh, expression na nasa labas ng ating parenthesis or the GCF natin. A squared plus 2. Siya. Yan na ngayon yung factors natin. So, para ma-check natin, pwede yung i-foil method. Then, after simplifying, ito yung magiging product niya. Number 2. 6y cubed minus 9y squared plus 4y minus 6. Group muna natin. So, itong dalawang to, i-group natin. 6y cubed minus 9y squared. Plus, group natin sila, 4y minus 6. Then, find the greatest common factor. 6 and 9, meron silang common factor na 3. Then, sa ating variable, yung may lowest exponent. So, y squared. Then, divide natin, 6y cubed divided by 3y squared. That is 2y. Negative 9y squared divided by 3y squared. Negative 3. Plus, common factor ng ating second group. Yan. So, common factor nila is 2. 4y divided by 2. So, 2y. Negative 6 divided by 2. Negative 3. Now, kuha yung technique. Dapat pag nasa process na ganito tayo, nagkakaroon sila ng common factor. So, common factor natin is 2y minus 3. 2y minus 3. Ayan. Then, copy natin yung mga common factor silang 3y squared plus 2. So, ito na ngayon yung ating factors. More examples? Sige. Okay, example number 3 x squared y squared plus a y squared plus a b plus b x squared. Group muna natin. So, I group natin itong dalawang to. x squared y squared plus a y squared. Plus, group natin sila, a b plus b x squared. Then, kuhin natin yung common factors. So, in this case, ang common factor natin ay y squared. Tama? 
So y squared. Then my E1C, x squared plus a. Plus, ang common factor naman natin dito, b. May E1C, a plus x squared. So, nag-interchange lang yung ating common factor na ngayon. So, pwedeng x squared plus a times, yung mga nasa labas, y squared plus b. Yan na ngayon yung ating factors. Uh, last, number 4. Uh, pwede nyo muna itry. Pause mo muna, then try nyo muna. Then, i-resume nyo na lang. Pag isi-check nyo na yung inyong sagot. Number 4, 4a cubed minus 6a squared minus 6a plus 9. Kunin natin muna yung group nila. So, si 4a cubed minus 6a squared minus ito ay 6a. Since minus ito, dapat din nandito na ngayon ay minus 9. Ba't ganun? Kasi negative times negative, dapat maging positive siya. Hindi pwedeng maging plus to ha. Kasi negative times positive, maging negative yun. Hindi na siya tutugma. Okay, so negative tayo. Next, common factor natin, 4 and 6. Ang common factor natin is 2. Ang lowest variable natin ay na may exponent ay 2. So, a... So, ilabasin natin si a squared. 4a cubed divided by 2a squared. 2a. Negative 6a squared divided by 2a squared. Negative 3. Minus. Common factor natin dyan ay 3. Then, we have 6a divided by 3, 2a. Then, we have negative 9 divided by... 9 divided by 3, negative 3. So, common factor natin, 2a minus 3, then 2a squared minus 3. So, ganyan kung paano mag-factor ng uh, factoring by using techniques. Don't forget to check completely. Number 1, 5x cubed minus 10x squared plus 3x minus 6. Now, let us group the expression first. So, group of 5x cubed minus 10x squared plus group of 3x minus 6. This time, get their greatest common factor. For this expression, our GCF is 5 and x squared. To get the other factors, let us divide. 5x cubed divided by 5x squared. That is simply x. Copy the sign minus 10x squared divided by 5x squared. That is 2. Copy the sign plus common factor is 3. 3x divided by 3. That is x minus 6 divided by 3. That is 2. Now, do we have a common factor for these expressions? That is, x minus 2. Just copy x minus 2. Quantity, copy the expression outside the parentheses. So we have 5x squared and positive. This is now our factor. Next, number two. How uh, did you get the same answer with number one? I hope so. Number two. 
First step, group. So we have 4m raised to 5 plus 6m cubed plus 6m squared plus 9. Now, get the common factor. For this expression, we have 2m capital the lowest exponent of the variable q. 4 divided by 2, that is 2. m raised to 5 divided by m q, m squared. Plus, 6 divided by 2, that is 3. m cubed divided by m cubed. Plus, so 3. Now, we have 6m squared divided by 3, that is 2m, and 9 divided by 3 plus 3. For the common factor, we don't have variable because 9, we don't have a variable. Now, all this is square. Copy the common factors, 2m squared plus 3. And expression outside the parentheses to m cubed plus Okay, that is the factoring by grouping and this is now the final answer. Did you get the same answer in number two? Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV and I hope you enjoyed our you enjoyed our factoring techniques for grade eight. Again, this, is, this lesson is very important because you're going to use it in your next lesson for grade A, the rational expressions. If you haven't mastered, please uh, watch again and again, do more exercises, practice more problems. And that's all. Enjoy mathematics.